There's breaking news coming in India today's access. The Hathras victim post-mortem report. The report says that the cause of death will be ascertained through Visera report. The ligature marks over neck are consistent with attempted strangulation but did not contribute to death in this case. Report mentions about injury to cervical spine, the neck, indirect blunt trauma. That's the latest coming in. Milan is getting us this story. Uh, who she's joining us for the, all the very latest. Uh, Milan, uh, of course, uh, we've gone ahead and accessed the Hathras victim post-mortem report. If you could just walk our viewers through the findings of this particular post-mortem report. Unfortunately, the victim is no more and the methodology in which uh, uh, she was cremated, uh, better or less spoken about. But uh, anyway, we've got the post-mortem report. What, can, what are the findings? Some of the very important points, Shetty, here is one that ligature mark does point at strangulation. That is what the PM report is also saying. That uh, is from Sabdarjung Hospital where she was later admitted for treatment. However, the Hathras report did not uh, say that there was any injury as such. Uh, the spokesperson for Sadhajan had also said that uh, uh, the girl uh, did show signs of cervical spine injury and quadriplegia, hmm. which means uh, the spinal uh, cord was broken from bottom as well. And the postmortem says that there was a neck injury as well. Hmm. But uh, when you correlate this to what the Hathras authorities hmm. had done, uh, there, they did not say that the girl had quadriplegia. So certainly there are some questions that are being raised. At so you're saying, Milan, time. that there are discrepancies in the report which came from the local administration and Hathras and what you're uh, picking up here from the national capital after the post-mortem report is out, clearly indicating some sign of a cover-up coming in from the authorities in Hathras? Well, certainly, because uh, the kind of injuries that she has sustained, they have been jotted down by the Sadarjung report. And if you look at the Hathras report, they, ha they have mentioned that there are no injuries as such. In fact, uh, what we have accessed uh, clearly says that the ligature mark does point out at strangulation. And uh, more details will be revealed in a short while. But certainly, there have been injuries that have been reported on the body of the victim that the Hathras report does not clearly state, Chetty. And questions will be asked on why does that report not state this particular finding that Milan has accessed uh, the post-mortem report and why is it that the, that particular report and this report have discrepancies? What is it that the UP administration is trying to hide here? We'll continue tracking the story in much detail. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.